What's going on? SmartHelping.com here. This is the payroll tracker. It is for anyone who's dealing with payroll and has to enter the payroll into the system uh, each payroll period. Uh, it kind of looks like a lot here, but it's really not. And it's really just for whoever's uh, dealing with payroll is to help them have a track record of what who got paid what and what that uh, variance was between the expected pay of everybody and as a the entire organization as well as the actual and the percentage change of that um, and then we've got a little visual down here that shows budget versus actual uh, so let me run through this and I'll start so there's instructions here that help um, but I'll, I'll run through right here so when you first begin you want to clear out all the data in yellow and these are the only shaded cells that you want to be entering data into so what I did is I made two categories. Uh, the first category has up to 30 slots, and this is a, this is for anybody, um, any employee that's got an hourly pay rate and hours worked in the period, and the total pay amount results from that. You'll also have payroll taxes, etc. So for the company, you need to put in the percentage of of those, and then that adds to the total payroll. And then this number here in column M. Is the total employer payroll expense if you have more than three items that you need to account for here in percentages you can uh, combine them into a single column uh, also if you just want to write over the amounts here because you can't really get it from a percentage you can just manually hard code it in here it will still add up to the total right here um, or it'll still add up to the total right here which is just taking this total plus this total um, make sure this is supposed to sum that just double checking this is supposed to be a sum of these three uh, I did build this on stream note I do stream every Monday at 5 p.m. EST and uh, don't forget to subscribe that helps quite a bit um, with the algorithms uh, anyway okay so you'll clear out all the data in light yellow the first section is for hourly employees. You can enter that. It's going to show you what their total payroll expense is. You can put in a budget for what it's supposed to be. And then see variances here. Anything below 100% would be green. That means that their payroll was less than the budget. Anything over 100% is going to be red. That means the payroll was greater. And then the variance, anything negative is going to be that amount you were over budget. Anything positive is the amount you were under. Category two, base salary, commissions, total pay, and the same percentages here. So a little bit different. You don't have to do a, a math for how many hours are in the period and the pay rate, but you might these people might get commissions or bonuses. So you can track that here. Uh, up to 30 employees on that section, and then everything is added together. Um, at the top here, total employees and pay period. Uh, total taxes, total payroll expense for the pay period. Um, and then that can be annualized to get the, based on the number of periods in the year. And this is for a given period, one period. You can see what your expected payroll is and what percentage that is of the total revenue, which is input as well. You can also see the budgeted payroll, the actual payroll, and a percent of budget there. And I also did a little visualization to show if the budget, if you were over or under budget here, we're over by, you know, about 11,000. And this is all dynamic. It all changes. If numbers change, let's say this is like 100,000. You see now numbers are quite a bit different. Or if, uh, let's say, you zero some of these out. Now the uh, actual was less than the budget so that's good you can see green here because we we're under budget so the main thing this does is help do some math for the payroll tracker um, the more math that you let Excel do and the more you're just inputting numbers the less likely there is for errors also you can have a record of all the different pay periods and if you need to reference something you can go back to it now what i mean by going back to it is you can so this is only one period you can do this for as many periods as you want i would suggest if you had 
you know, let's say 26 pay periods in a year. Once every two weeks, you could do 26 tabs. Uh, here's how you you should do this, and I'll do it on the stream here or on the on the video here. So first of all, you want to right click the tab, and we're going to make a template tab that can be used. But uh, for the purpose of making a copy, you do right click the tab, hit make a copy, click period one tab, hit create a copy, hit OK. Now I just duplicated it. And what I want to do is actually make this the template, and this can be zeroed out. So that when you go in here, you know, maybe you might want to leave the names of the employees the same when you make a copy. But whatever your template is, you can define it. And it doesn't, you obviously don't have to have up to 30 slots. You can have less. Um, zero out all of this. Zero out everything. Div error is fine. That's fine. Uh, Actually, let's make these actually a, a zero value, just so you know. And then when you come in here, let me clear these. You can put in your own information. And so you'll come through here and Enter, you know, I'll put like name one, name two, etc. Just so you know, you put in names of employees there. And depending on how many you have, then you fill in the information for the given pay period. This is designed for actuals. It's not designed for uh, forecasting. The budget is whatever the budget is. Um, so you might have a single budget um, that you want to apply to every pay period. So you just fill in the budget on the to the template and the names. And then all you would do, so now we've got, you know, let's say this is example period one. So now let's say you're doing period two. You would go to the template, uh, right click it, hit make move or copy, click template, hit create a copy, hit OK, and now you can go to period two. Simple. And you just fill in, you know, the names will be pre filled because you'll make your template all the names that you need, and the budget's pre filled, or if it needs to be different for the given period, then you could change it. And then you just fill in all the data for each employee for the period. And you get, you know, a separate report every period. So I'll delete this one. We'll keep the template in there. And I'll keep period one in here so you can just see the numbers and see how it's supposed to work. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Uh, for more, you can go to smarthelping.com. I'm going to have the, the link in the description box below to purchase. And I'll see you on the next one.